Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Don Fit, the best channel on YouTube combining food and fitness to keep us feeling good and looking even better. Now, today we're going to take a break from our summer of salads theme, and I'm going to show you something that I get asked quite often, which is how to shape pizza dough. Being fit and being healthy does not mean restricting yourself to only eating hard boiled eggs and black coffee. You need to enjoy life still, and that means that we're gonna make some damn pizza. Now this is super easy to do once you know how to do it. Pizza is made in just a few minutes, and you can enjoy life. So hold on to your dough balls, because we're gonna work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. All right, my dough has been resting out of the fridge for about four hours now. The uh, oven is hot and ready to roll. I have a pizza stone in the oven on the bottom rack and it is uh, cranked as high as my oven will go, which is somewhere around 500 degrees for the stone temperature. I'm laying down just a little bit of semolina flour here. And this is just some bread flour. This could be all purpose. Doesn't really matter, it's just to keep the dough from sticking to itself and to the board and to everything else. A little flour on the dough. I have a few more fans rolling today. You might hear a little more noise in the room. The dog might be panting. It's a little warmer in here than normal. Mix that up. Spread it out. Take your dough out of the box. There is a clear top side. This is the top side and a bottom side. You want to make sure that they stay that way. You're just going to take your fingers, not your nails. You, you don't want to push your nails down into this. And just go in a circle around. This is the bottom again. I'm just starting the process now. So when I flip it, I'm going to be working on the top, my final product. So this is where I'll put all the toppings. I'm just going to continue around in that circle, pushing that air into the crust. Once I feel that's pretty good, I'm going to take it, take my knuckles and just lay it right over them. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my other hand, just my knuckles, and I'm gonna roll it on my knuckles, just like that. Make sure that you don't have a fingertip going into it or it will puncture it. You don't want to puncture it. Just gently roll it. Lay it back down. You want it just under where you actually want it stretched to because you're going to uh, stretch it one more time when we transfer it onto the peel, which is right now. Take your pizza peel. Sorry if that's reflective. This is semolina flour. It kind of acts as little BBs or ball bearings to uh, let the dough slide off of it easily. So now we're going to do the same thing. Put the dough on our knuckles, knock a little bit of that excess dough off the bottom and give it one last stretch before gently draping it onto the pizza peel. and build that pizza right up. 
I have another great video that shows you this sauce recipe if you would like to know what I'm using for sauce here. Very simple recipe, very delicious. My go-to every single time. I absolutely love it. You cannot go wrong with this fresh sauce. Don't want to sauce it up too much. It'll make it a, it'll make it a little soggy. Spread that right to the edge of the crust. I like to use mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese you'd like. Also depends on what sauce you use. I did a uh, barbecue cheddar not too long ago that was fantastic. This one I got some bacon here. Yeah, you can't go wrong with bacon, right? Some tomatoes. And some fresh jalapenos. As soon as the pizza comes out, I like to brush the crust with some olive oil. You can use garlic oil if you'd like, but I actually have a mixture here of garlic powder, salt, and uh, black pepper. Excuse me, granulated garlic. There's a difference. It's not as powdery. Sprinkle that beautiful seasoning mix right on the crust for some delicious added flavor. Give it a little drizzle of olive oil right over. Oh, look at that pizza. Look at that pizza. All right, we've got a top. This is the bottom. Just gonna go around. You can use your other hand here as some support. Make like a dam wall. Not D-A-M-N, but a D-A-M wall. Flip it, this will be our top. Keep pushing that air out to the crust. That's what's forming our crust. All that beautiful air that trapped in the crust. On to the knuckles. And you're just going in a circular motion. Nice and easy. Gentle. Gentle. Stop a little bit before the desired radius? Circumference? Diameter? Knock off that excess flour. And then on to the peel. Pizza pie, you can make pizza at home now. Be sure to keep practicing this technique and you will get better and better. If you enjoyed today's video, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.